Here, our goal is to express as a fraction in simplest form this particular expression. Notice that we have 3 over x minus 1 minus 2 all over 3 minus x. And our goal is to subtract these fractions. But first, we must ensure that the denominators are the same. And so we take 3 minus x and we multiply it by x minus 1. So we have 3, mi 3 minus x multiplied by x minus 1. But whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. So we have 2 times x minus 1. Similarly, we have x minus 1 and we're going to multiply it by 3 minus x. And whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. So we have 3 minus x multiplied by 3. And so we have 3 minus x multiplied by x minus 1. That's what we have at the bottom. And we have 3 minus x multiplied by x minus 1. That's what, the, that's what we have at the bottom here. So, the, not, so that means that the denominators are definitely the same. And so we have 3 times 3 minus x, which is this. And we have 2 times x minus 1, which is this. Next, we distribute. We say, OK, 3 times 3, 3 times negative x, negative 2 times x, and negative 2 times negative 1. Now, what is 3 times 3? Well, 3 times 3 is 9. And then 3 times negative x is negative 3. And negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 multiplied by negative 1 is positive 2 because negative times a negative is a positive. Next, we group the like terms. And so we have negative 3x minus 2x. And then we have a 9 plus 2. So we have 9 plus 2 here. And so what does that give us? Well, that gives us that gives us negative 5x because negative 3x minus 2x is negative 5x. And 9 plus 2 is 11. So we have a negative 5x plus 11 all over 3 minus x multiplied by x minus 1. And that's the answer to this question.